Um, I spoke about having a diagnosis of chronic renal failure in our dog. Now, obviously that is a gut-wrenching diagnosis. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Alejandra. If you're watching this video, it's mostly about chronic kidney failure in canines, so in dogs. I am not a vet. I am a passionate, passionate dog owner, but I am not a vet. So everything that I say to you today on this video, consult with your veterinarian. Um, it's so important to work closely with your doctor. And these are just some ideas, some tips that helped me, helped my husband and I to better and properly take care of our dog. Um, so about a month ago in weekly vlog number one, which was my very first weekly vlog, I believe, um, I spoke about having a diagnosis of chronic renal failure in our dog. Now, obviously that is a gut-wrenching diagnosis because after they gave us the diagnosis, they immediately told us that he had less than a couple of months to live, if that. And our vet was very concerned and he just shared with us that he didn't think he was going to make it even a month more. Like it was just... He was in really bad shape. When I shared it with one of my best friends, she also was very worried about it and worried about the lab results. And so it seemed as though my dog was dying. And so just dying very, very soon and that his health was just slipping from our hands. And of course you mourn and you cry and you spent a couple of days in kind of disbelief. Of course, my husband and I are Christians. And so we, we prayed about it and we just asked the Lord for wisdom. And you know, and at the end of the day, we knew that whatever happened with Malachi, um, God was in control. But in the end, we wanted to also do as much research as we could. We wanted to dive in and see how we were going to take care of Malachi and how he was gonna have just the best chance at, at life, at a better quality life. The first thing that came to our minds were, how do you take care of a dog that is dying? You know, and so, so much can go into it. So I'm, I'm not gonna get into all of that. I wanna dive in to the information and skip the spiel. So let's, let's get started with that. Like I said before, my, I am not a vet. And so everything that I tell you today, I want you to go and take it to your doctor and make sure that you are doing everything alongside a doctor. I'm gonna give you a kidney diet that I'm using um and just everything that i'm doing in order for malachi to be better and then i'll let you guys know how he's doing afterwards a month later the diagnosis was that he had chronic kidney disease what is ckd so ckd also known as chronic renal disease is the inability of the kidneys to efficiently filter the blood of waste products our plan of action was we worked very, very, very closely with our vet. We changed his diet, we added supporting supplements, and we gave him more exercise. Like we would walk, we walk with him more. We go on a one hour pack walk, is what we like to call it. And we also reduce stress. So we just kind of let him roam freely in the house. We don't have cages for him. He goes wherever he wants, and that, all that good stuff. Food. David and I chose to give him a at-home low kidney diet. So we did this because with his condition and after much research, we found out that the wet food can keep him hydrated and his kidneys are able to flush out the toxins more if it's wet food. So you wanna get rid of all dry food and you wanna switch them to a wet kidney, a wet, a wet food, a kidney diet wet food. Um, some people like to go with buying a, a processed brand. I didn't feel peace with doing that just because I just did it. That has a lot of preservatives. It has a lot of salt. It, I just prefer to keep him away from the KD diet. I rather do it myself because I know what I'm feeding him. So I chose to go with this blog. Um, it's called, it's from the blog, this mess is ours. I linked it below so that you can see honestly it's not that much work you do it once a week it can be really inexpensive if you do your research and it's really simple it takes me about 30 minutes after after i chop up everything 
actually with chopping everything up and making it together it really takes 20 to 30 minutes so we chose to do that for him and that's one of the things that we we wanted to do second we chose to give him supplements and vitamins epicotin i want to say that that it's called epicotin epicotin i think and it works as a phosphate binder and it's so important to give them this second we chose to give him coenzyme Q10, which is good for his overall health. You'll see that with my dog, he has way more energy and just is so much happier with this um, supplement. Fish oil. Fish oil can be tricky because you don't want it to have high sixes, right? So you want to give him omega-3s and I also linked it below so you can see which one so that you can see which one I am giving him. So I link that one below, which one is it that I, I use. Um, the fourth thing I'm using is probiotics. The fifth thing I'm using is Rena Food. The sixth, Rena Food is a supplement that helps kidney function. It's, it's, it has the vitamins to help kidney function. Um, the sixth one is Azoldial, and I will tell you that it, that one is a non-negotiable. That one is one that Malachi, it's expensive. I will tell you that it is expensive, but it is a non-negotiable in Malachi's diet because it literally supports his kidney function, it, but it supports it in such a great way. And I just read all of the reviews on Amazon and everyone seems to have such a great, great experience with this product. Seventh, um, there is this vitamin called Dogs Greens Organic Harvested Supplements. And when cooking at home with your dog, you want to make sure that you are giving him all the supplements that he needs. So this is kind of like a supplement to put into the food to make sure that it has all the vitamins and nutrients that he needs for his for a well balanced diet. So I sprinkle on sprinkle it onto his food, and it just I mean Malachi is doing so well his coat is doing really well like just his hair looks really well um his just his overall health is really really good malachi's energy has been significantly and drastically changed he looks like a different dog he is happy he is actually fetching which he has never done before he is trying to play with his toys he jumps from the couch to the table like our little ottoman in the middle of the living room he jumps to our bed without any effort before we changed all of this malachi wasn't doing any of those things he was rarely just living he was kind of just sluggish and you know sleeping everywhere he was never energetic he never wanted to go on walks i would have to like drag him with me and say hey come on like and i would have to bring my other dog jeremy so that he can kind of have that that desire and energy to be able to go on a walk with us he runs with us he is just a different dog after adding all these things and so the recommended channel that i have was i again dr ruth roberts she i i watched both of her videos on canine diet there is a book that i think is also detrimental to having it's by Lou Olson, and I will tell you that it speaks specifically, there's a chapter in there about diets and about chronic renal failure, and it, it just helped me tremendously to better understand the disease. Again, when we received the diagnosis from Malachi, it was gut-wrenching, and it was devastating. My husband and I are Christians, and so we believe, we believe wholeheartedly that prayer can move mountains but ultimately i also know that faith without works is dead and so i wanted to just do my part in believing that god would heal my my little puppy my little pup he's not a puppy anymore he would heal my dog but i also wanted to do my part and research as much as possible but my heart is that you're able to just have a little bit of hope and i pray that your dog if you're watching this is able to really come back from all of this it is difficult it is a journey there can be a lot of fear tied to it but we chose faith that whatever happened with malachi that we did our best to make sure that he was he was good and that 
his health was better, that we did everything we could do in our hands so that we can give him a better quality of life. And that's really ultimately what we wanted. Now again, I pray that if you have had this horrible, horrible disease diagnosed to your, to your puppy, I pray that you find hope in this video and that you're able to really go back and, and do some research yourself. And I hope that I laid out a good blueprint so that you can go with your vet and work closely with your vet and try your best to, to just elongate and give them better quality of life. Now, I will tell you that after doing all of these things, after just a month, I have seen such a significant change in Malachi, and I've seen that he is energetic, like I said before. He wants to go on walks with us. Cognitively, he also looks like he's there. Um, I just, I, I feel like I have a new dog, like he is a puppy now. Now, again, I am not a vet. I want you to consult everything that I just gave you with your vet so that you can have a better understanding of your dog's diagnosis. Um, you have a blessed day. I pray this helped you. I pray that this was informational. I pray that you're able to just get as much out of this as you can. You guys have such a blessed day. Bye-bye.